welcome back to another Cafe Razor Bill video. So I have finally got the tank stripped down fully. It took me, took me forever. Oh fuck. Don't panic, don't panic. Cool. The bike is okay. The foot peg is however not. I should really listen to you guys more often. So I guess I've got to invest in some better foot pegs. What just happened is the bike just fell off its stand. Guessing because I was moving the bike around while I was filming, this was not settled properly and it must have just tipped forward or slipped off the wood or something like that because, yeah, there's no spring tension on this, it is just a loose kickstand and that's what I've been using ever since I've had the bike, so that's just a bit of bad luck really. Thankfully, no damage. So let's get back to the video, let's get back to what we were going to be doing originally with this bike and that is doing something with this tank. Now we've got it all cleared down and cleared off. In the last video we spoke about actually doing something with this tank and I know a lot of you guys really really wanted to know it in that video and I'm really sorry that I didn't actually get round to doing it. I know because I saw all the dislikes. Rather than explaining it I think I'm just going to have to show you because it's a tough one to, to show really. But it's going to involve computer work, cutting, sticking, sanding, yeah, just watch. guys all right don't you worry I, I can already feel you spamming that dislike button but just hear me out I know it looks really odd what I've just done but what I'm doing I'm masking off the metal part of the tank so when we do get it actually painted and I can pull that mask off it'll leave the bare metal tank in the shape of the lightning bolt with the color so it's gonna be quite subtle but it'll it should look nice I'm only doing it on the one side because there's a lovely, lovely patch of filler right in the corner of where the design would be. So this side is a no-go. A bit leery, something different, but I'm happy with how that looks. To be honest, I know it's only on the one side, but I'm quite happy with that. It's all about perspective and uniqueness. It doesn't always have to map. That is the thing with these bike builds. They are whatever you want them to be. They don't have to be symmetrical. They don't have to match. That's just me. That's my liking. I'm happy with that. So this tank and the red one, they are both going to go to the painters now. I'm going to let Ben do all the prep work and then hopefully I'll be able to come in and do some videoing while he actually does the final spray on them. I'm really, really excited to see them all sprayed up, especially this one with, especially with this lightning bolt one with the tank masked off. Oh, I cannot wait. But yeah, there is more to come. Just you wait. If you follow me on Instagram, you can probably see a few sneak previews on my stories and on, on my wall. So go and give me a follow. Link down below and yeah, let's carry on. One last thing before we carry on. Uh, I may change the, eye, the, the angle of the design. I may change the style slightly um, from when this video is released. So take it with a pinch of salt. It may not be the final decision, but 
this you can at least you can see the direction we're going. Okay, let's carry on. Mr. Rusty, he's Hello. back. He's helping with the wiring again. We need to get cracking on with this wiring. I don't know if I showed this in one of the last videos, but we started putting the new plugs in. Uh, this is for the rectifier, and we've just made this a bit neater. And so yeah, otherwise, let's just crack on. I wouldn't have a clue where to start with all this wiring. He's already helped me in the past when we got the bike running. It looks like we're going to be getting the bike running again very soon. It's falling into place. There's, it's a bit more permanent wiring now. They do need wrapping up at the end, but obviously we're not going to do that until we've got all the lighting, wiring in, everything made sure everything's working. That is the final stage, but like, I'd probably say we're like 65, 70% all the way through of the wiring now, maybe more. Yeah, the rest is um, really easy to wire up once once you start installing stuff. So yeah. the cables and stuff, it's just connecting two wires. That's it, yeah. Nice. If you haven't already, go and give Rusty a follow on his channel under the name Advocult. Uh, he's recently put a wise fab kit on his RX-7 and my god, it looks absolutely ridiculous. I'll leave a link down below. You go and have a watch of some of his videos, give him subscribe and yeah, support. Right, so we have managed to get most of the wiring done. We're at the point now where it's just going to be auxiliary stuff, like the lights, the indicators. Okay, there's going to be a few little issues with like um, relays and stuff, but that, we'll come to that in another video. But we've got so, so much today. Most of it works, um, and it's neat, it's, you know, proper plugs, I'm happy. Again, I can't thank this man enough, he's done a cracking job. Subscribe to his channel, go and have a look at his stuff. I'd appreciate it massively. Gonna call it the end of the day now, so um, yeah, we've managed to do some work with the tank, we've uh, done some wiring. It's been a very successful video, I'd say. So as always, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I shall see you in the next one. Peace.